We work on a disease, it's a fungus that affects frogs. This disease has been found out to be a major contributor to the global declines in amphibians. This uh, fungus is called Betrachochytrium dendrobatidis, for obvious reasons we call it BD, has been spreading around the world and these frogs that you see around you are affected by this fungus. They're called midwife toads and this species is found widely across Europe. The zoo spores that are produced by BD swim through the water and when they strike the amphibian skin they deploy some very potent enzymes called proteases. These zoospores literally burn their way into the amphibian skin. These midwife toads are the most susceptible species to the fungus. So we work in the high Pyrenees, above 2,000 meters. We see very aggressive die-offs of these elites in a number of populations. They now no longer exist because the fungus has, uh, has killed them all. Until 2014, we thought this was a single disease, BD. But then, scientists working in the Netherlands discovered that the fire salamanders there were going extinct, and that they discovered that there was another chytrid, which has subsequently been called Betrachochytrium salamandrivorans, the salamander killer. There's now at least two chytrids which kill amphibian species. What we're finding that in these amphibians, which are taken out of tropical rainforests and traded around the world, quite a high proportion of these are infected with BD. And we've actually shown that some of these infected trade animals, when released into the environment, have spread their infection to the environment. So we believe that the amphibian trade is a very important vector of this infection around the world. The treatment that we have developed here in these laboratories is an antifungal drug called itraconazole. This is commonly used in humans and in pets, but we've found that if we use very dilute concentrations of this antifungal with tadpoles, then they will clear infection. The chytrid is thankfully very, very susceptible to um, itraconazole. By finding the exact dose that we can use on an animal without harming it, we can then go into natural environments and try those doses on infected animals once these tadpoles were in a captive environment, they then got the itraconazole treatment. They were kept until we were sure that they were clear of infection and then were reintroduced back into the environment. We also used some chemical disinfection in the environment where we washed rocks with this compound called Vercon, which cleared any residual stages that was of the fungus that were clinging to the rocks. And by doing this, we eventually cleared the infection from the island of Mallorca. This is a massive coup because this is the first time that a wildlife disease has actually been combated and eradicated in nature. So already uh, scientists are using our itraconazole treatment protocol in other species, in Panama, um, in Costa Rica. They're having some success in at least being able to create captive amphibian arcs where they have clean animals without the fungal infection that are breeding, so that when we do come up with a uh, mitigation a approach that we can use in the environment, then we actually have these captive species that which we can then reintroduce to the wild.